Hey there, Elon kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig, Peppa Plays Football. It is a sunny day and Peppa Pig and Susie Sheep are playing tennis. To you, Susie. Cheers, Peppa, hitting the ball. Now it's Susie's turn. To you, Peppa, she cries, hitting the ball straight over Peppa's head. Oh, dear. Wah! George feels a bit left out. Sorry, George, says Peppa. You can't play tennis. We only have two rackets. George can be the ball boy. Cheers, Susie. Being a ball boy is a very important job, George, says Peppa. Peppa and Susie are having lots of fun, but they keep missing the ball. Ball boy, they shout together. Huff, puff, George is not having fun. He keeps running to get the ball, and he is very tired. Hello, everyone, cries Peppa when her friends arrive. We're playing tennis. Can we play too, asks Danny Dog. There aren't enough rackets, replies Susie Sheep. Let's play football then, says Danny Dog. Football, hooray! Everyone cheers. We can play girls against boys, says Peppa. Each team needs a goalkeeper, says Danny Dog. Me, me, shouts Pedro Pony. Me, me, cries Rebecca Rabbit. Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit decide to be the goalkeepers. The boys' team will start, says Danny Dog. Richard Rabbit gets the ball and runs very fast. Right by Peppa Pig, Susie Sheep, and Candy Cat. And straight up to the... Goal! cry Danny and Pedro together. As Richard Rabbit kicks the ball straight past Rebecca Rabbit and into the net. The boy is a winner, cheers Danny Dog. That's not fair. We weren't ready, moans Peppa. Rebecca Rabbit picks up the ball and runs. Hey, shout Danny Dog. That's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can, says Rebecca. I'm the goalkeeper. Rebecca throws the ball into the goal, straight past Pedro Pony. Goal, she cries. That goal is not allowed, says Pedro. Yes, it is, says Peppa. No, it isn't, barks Danny. What a lot of noise, snorts Daddy Pig. I'll be the referee. The next team to get a goal will win the game. Richard Rabbit and George run off with the football while everyone is still talking. Where's the ball? asks Peppa. But it's too late. Richard Rabbit kicks the ball straight into the goal past Petro Pony. Hooray! The boys win, cries Danny. Football is a silly game, sighs Peppa, disappointed. Just a moment, says Daddy Pig. The boys scored in their own goal. That means the girls win. Really? gasps all the girls. Hooray! Football is a great game, cheers Peppa. <laughs> Everyone laughs. Hey there, Elon kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig. Peppa plays rugby. Peppa, George, and Daddy Pig are visiting the rabbit family. Daddy Pig and Daddy Rabbit are watching a rugby match on television. Come on, white team, shouts Daddy Pig. Come on, red team, cries Daddy Rabbit. It's a bit loud in here. Rebecca Rabbit tells Peppa, let's go play somewhere else. 
Peppa, George, Rebecca, and Richard Rabbit leave the living room. Our daddies are being very noisy today, says Peppa. Wah, wah, wah. Suddenly, the children hear more loud sounds. Oh no, gasps Rebecca. Now the babies are awake. The noise from the rugby match woke them up, says Mummy Rabbit, holding Rosie and Robbie Rabbit. Do you like watching rugby too? asks Peppa. I like playing rugby, says Mummy Rabbit. My sister and I are quite good. Can you show us how to play, please? asks Peppa. What a great idea, says Mummy Rabbit. Mummy Rabbit phones her sister, Miss Rabbit. She comes straight over. Hello, says Miss Rabbit. You all look like you're ready to play rugby. Yes, shouts Peppa George, Rebecca, and Richard. Let's start by passing the ball, says Mummy Rabbit. Mummy Rabbit passes the ball to Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit passes it to Richard. Oh, cries Richard as the ball falls to the ground and bounces back up into the air. This ball is a funny shape, says Peppa. It makes it hard to catch. Don't worry, says Miss Rabbit. You can kick it instead. George gives the ball a kick. Then Rebecca grabs it and starts running. Keep going, says Mummy Rabbit. You can get a try. A try is like a goal, explains Miss Rabbit. The daddies come out of the burrow. The match on television has finished, says Daddy Pig. Now we can cheer you on. Everyone has lots of fun throwing and kicking the ball. After a little while, it starts to rain. Oh no, cries Peppa. Do we have to go inside? No, says Mummy Rabbit, smiling. Rugby is even more fun when it's wet outside. Mummy Rabbit passes the ball to Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit catches it and slides through a muddy puddle. Sploosh! Come on, she calls. Everyone join in. The children have lots of fun in all the rain and mud. What a great match, cheers Daddy Pig. Hooray for the rugby players. Peppa loves rugby. Everyone loves rugby. Hey there, read along kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called... Peppa plays cricket. Peppa and George are in the garden. Susie's sheep has come to play. Hello, says Susie. Daddy Pig is looking after the children. He finds his sun hat and turns on the radio. Snort shuffle. What a lovely day, says Daddy Pig. I'll sit here so I can watch you. Daddy, calls Peppa. Are you asleep? Huh? Sputters Daddy Pig. Of course not. I was listening to the cricket. It must be very boring if it makes you go to sleep, says Susie. Daddy Pig shakes his head. He loves cricket. Daddy Pig fetches a bat, a ball, and some sticks. What are those for, asks Peppa. Cricket, says Daddy Pig. I'm going to show you how to play. Peppa, George, and Susie cheer. Hooray! Daddy Pig pushes three big sticks into the ground, then rests two little sticks on top. This is the wicket, says Daddy Pig. Wicket! laughs George, knocking the sticks over. Daddy Pig puts them back up again. The wicket is important in cricket. Daddy Pig gives the ball to Peppa. She is going to be the bowler. Lift the ball up high, says Daddy Pig. Then run along the grass and let go. Wee! laughs Peppa. Oh, Peppa runs so fast, she forgets to let go. Daddy Pig shows George how to swing the bat. Bowl again, please, Peppa, 
says Daddy Pig. Peppa lifts the ball up high, runs, and lets go. George swings the bat and knocks over the wicket. Wah! Never mind, George, says Daddy Pig. I'll help you swing the bat. George keeps trying with Daddy Pig's help. Ho, ho, bop! He hits the ball. Catch it, Susie, shouts Daddy Pig. Susie jumps up and catches the ball. Mommy Pig calls everyone inside. It is tea time. Cricket tears always stop for tea, says Daddy Pig. And sandwiches and cake. Cake, cheers George. George loves cricket. Everyone loves cricket. Hey, very long kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Plays Basketball. It's a lovely sunny day. Peppa and her friends are in the playground. Children, says Madame Gazelle. Today we have a special person coming to teach you basketball. Ooh, ooh. Daddy Pig walks into the playground. Hello, everyone. Daddy, snorts Peppa. It isn't home time yet. We've got a special teacher coming. That's me, says Daddy Pig. I'm the coach, explains Daddy Pig. A basketball teacher is called a coach. Daddy Pig spins the ball on his finger. That's clever, Daddy. Peppa, says Daddy Pig, call me coach. Daddy Coach blows his whistle. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands, he says. Everyone tries. The children practice bouncing the ball up and down the playground. Throw the ball through the hoop, shouts Daddy Coach. Oops, George throws the ball the wrong way. He still needs a bit more training. Daddy Coach decides it is time to play a game. Split into two teams, he says. The girls are in one team and the boys are in the other. It's not fair, says Pedro Pony. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, says Danny Dog. The boys team will still win. The game starts. Emily catches the ball with her trunk. She is very good at reaching up high with her trunk. That's not fair, says Peppa. Shh, whispers Susie Sheep. She's on our team. Oh, yes, it is fair, decides Peppa. We want Emily on our team, shouts Pedro Pony. No arguing, says Daddy Coach. You can all be on the same team. The children get into one big team. But who will we play? asks Peppa. Um, says Daddy Coach. Well, the parents arrive to take the children home. I know, snorts Daddy Coach. You can play the grown-ups, but they're bigger than us, cries Danny Dog. Ah, nods Daddy Coach. But you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Yes, calls Peppa. Let's play. All right, shouts the grown-ups. George tackles Mr. Elephant, then passes to Zoe Zebra. Zoe passes to Richard Rabbit. Richard passes the ball to Peppa, who throws it through the hoop. Yippee! Boing! The final whistle blows. The basketball game is over. Everybody cheers. The children's team has won. And it's all thanks to Daddy Coach, says Peppa. Hooray! Hey there, little long kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig Sports Day. 
Today is school sports day. Peppa and her friends are all here. The first event is running. The children have to run as fast as they can. Ready, steady, go, says Madame Gazelle. Susie and Peppa are chatting about who can run the fastest. Rebecca Rabbit is in the lead. Peppa and Susie are right at the back. Rebecca Rabbit wins the race. Hooray! Everyone cheers. Peppa and Susie are last. It's not the winning that matters. Daddy Pig reminds them, but the taking part. The next event is the long jump, says Madame Gazelle. George and Richard Rabbit have to run and then jump as far as they can. Whoever jumps the furthest is the winner. Ready, steady, go! Oh dear! Richard Rabbit has jumped further than George. Hooray! Shouts all his friends. George is not happy. Remember, George says Peppa. It's not the winning that matters, but the taking part. The next race is the relay. Daddy Pig is in the lead. He hands the baton to Peppa. Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to. Begins Peppa. Stop talking and run! <sniffs> Snorts Daddy Pig. Emily. Elephant is the winner. Everyone cheers! Hooray! Peppa comes last. She is not feeling happy. It's the last event of the day, the tug of war, boys against girls. The girls will win. <sniffs> Snorts Peppa. Woof! No, they won't, says Danny. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope breaks. The result is a draw. Both teams win, says Madame Gazelle. Everybody cheers! Hooray! I love school sports day. <sniffs> Snorts Peppa, especially when I win a prize. The end. Thanks for listening, read along kids. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great read-along fun. Until next time, bye-bye.